What up? It's Rose Crans Vic right here with my guy Travis Thompson. What's good, man? Thank you for having yeah, me, man. Of course, bro. How you feeling, bro? How you liking LA? I'm feeling good, man. I yeah, like I was just telling you, it's roll out time, so we're out here in LA frequently, man. I like it out here, man. It's cool. Yeah. It's it's the West Coast still, so it feels like home. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's cool. What's your favorite thing about being in LA? Man, I like favorite thing about being it's just the sun, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm from Seattle and it's gloomy as hell all yeah. the time, bro. Like consistently gloomy like 24 7. so even just to wake up and then like hit the store and have the sun hit your face yeah you know what i'm saying is that shit is fire you know do you, like, do you yeah. feel like you get up earlier out here because of the sun 100 like, percent. yeah in the face and shit. yeah because it ain't no yeah no but that sun beats down through the window and wakes you up <laughs> and we be getting turned up when we're out here because we don't live out here I'm saying. of course so yeah so yeah no and I, I just like eating the food out here in the skate parks out here, just, yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool, man. I fuck okay. it out here. Yeah. Did you uh, get a chance to watch the the Laker game yesterday? No, uh, people okay. were pe people around me have been like streaming it on their phone while they're talking to me, not really paying attention and shit. Yeah, I, yeah it's heavy out here. If yeah. you ran into people today from LA like me, we're just in a fucking terrible mood. Yeah, <laughs> no, I already know. Oh uh, yeah, I yeah I hopped on Twitter and I was like, oh shit, yep, okay, that's what happened. Yeah, no, already. Man. Yeah. But, but I shit, I've had a basketball team since I was a little kid, so I've been yeah, kind of tapped I was, out. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. I got a feel for you even worse. Like, yeah, man. It's how big sad. of a Sonics fan were you before I, they left? I can I can only say that I was like, I was a little kid, so I was like yeah. eight or nine when I was going to the games and shit. Yeah. But like, as as big as a fan you can be as a little kid, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I remember seeing like Rashard Lewis and Ray Allen and Luke yeah. Ridenour and like Kate, Kevin Durant, even yeah. when he was on the Sonics for a little bit. Like, I remember going to those games and like being at Key Arena and shit. So yeah, I definitely miss it. But yeah, I haven't been tapped in the same way since that shit. Cause yeah. it was a little kid obsessed with sports. And then as soon as we had to have a basketball team, I was like, I Yeah, I would guess. check out too. I mean, I check out when my teams are shitty. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah. But I mean, I check out in a way like I don't watch the games. Like, cause it, I hate to watch my team lose. Yeah, you know bro, it's, it's literally painful to watch. It literally is painful to watch, and it's a lot to watch. It's a lot to keep up a with. A lot of time consuming. Literally, you're bro. To be productive. Literally, bro. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I'm completely tapped out of the Mariners too. Like, yeah, I'm really only tapped into the Seahawks because they be winning the and Seahawks. they fuck what with me. What about the shit? Seattle Sounder? What, what's the, the Sounders? Sounders? Oh yeah, Sounders, no, the yeah. Sounders fuck with me too. Like, I'm just not like a yeah. soccer guy like that. All my homies love soccer and shit, but like. I mean, yeah, Sounders show us love too, though. So I fuck with Sounders. Oh, that's yeah. hard. Yeah. Have you ever like played your music at the arena? Or anything? Yeah, yeah. One, at the at the Sounders game one time, I was like their like artist guest or something like oh, that. Sick. So they put me on the big screen. Me and my dad got to walk the field and shit. Yeah. yeah no, the Sounders show us love, man. Yeah. That's fire. Do you have any aspirations of like performing at like a Seahawks halftime show or? Yeah, that's probably gonna happen this season. Oh shit! Yeah, man. Yeah, it's yeah. probably gonna happen this season. You know, the Seahawks fuck with us too. And like, yeah, like, yeah, man, I love the Seahawks. That's like, if you're from Seattle, it's like, it's everything is Seahawks. You know what I'm saying? Who's your favorite Seahawk of all time? Of all time? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Probably Marshawn Lynch, just cause like, duh. We were just he's talking about smoked. him a second ago. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's literally like, I don't know. When he was like first like popping off in Seattle, like the energy was just so palpable. It made everyone hella excited again. Like things just got more lit in the city yeah. where Marshawn was killing it. But I super fuck with DK, DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf. He yeah. shows us love. Like oh, that's, that's the hard. hump. Shout out DK. So I fuck with DK. Yeah, that's dope as fuck. Him and Marshawn. Yeah, Beast Mo. You can't go wrong with Beast. You can't go. No, he's literally <laughs> like a goat, bro, in every aspect. Yeah. In every aspect. What do you know think what about? Russell Wilson. You, oh, like, what do I think about Russell Wilson? You think this this season he's gonna be gone? You think they're gonna keep him? I don't know. No, I think they're I think they're keeping him just because Seattle is like, I don't know, man. If they got rid of Russell Wilson, oh, we'd be so sad, bro. Yeah, we would be so sad. So I don't think they're finna do all that, no. But, but, yeah, I don't know. He's cool though. I fuck with him. He's think, cool. He's a nice guy. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna hold on to him. Honestly. Uh, yeah. Personally. No. Yeah, they need to hold on to him. But some people in Seattle have like kind of turned a little bit and been oh, really? like, oh, let him go. We, da, 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 da. we need to spend no. money in other places. It's, and I'm like, nah. like, how long did it take for like, people think that like Bro. quarterbacks like him grow on trees or something. Bro, he's hella slept on. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Like he's definitely, he's always winning, but he's never a part of like the who's the filthiest conversation. Yeah. But sometimes like, but City's hella clutch. Like he's not like, I don't know. He's not consistently every time blowing everyone out the water. Yeah. But like Russ rarely is like blowing it. At all. You know what I'm saying? Like he's mistakes. clutch as fuck. Yeah. But sometimes, and he also like doesn't have a lot to work with the past couple years, so it's like they gotta protect them. I know that's what I'm saying, bro. Like yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah. The the yeah. the Sundays in the crib be a lot of yelling about the old line for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So uh, what was what was COVID like 
up in Seattle? Like, what was your Shit, experience with man. it? man. It was, it was pretty heavy. Because so, I think it was one of the first cities where it, like, hit America. It was, like, oh, New wow. York and Seattle and, like, a few. Yeah. But, so, like, in the beginning, it was super heavy. Like, I remember we had... Uh, so much shit planned. We had like a show ready in like the week of like a meet and greet plus a show. It was like, that's when everything shut down in March. And it was like, in that one week, it was like every day we're getting three calls that this was canceled, this was canceled, this was canceled, this was canceled, this was canceled. canceled." And it's like, and I was being super like, oh, it'll go, it's all good, it'll, it's all But then like more and more as we got into it, it was just like, oh shit, this is like sticking around and it's really fucking people up. And like, yeah, so it was cool, man. Like, I don't know. it. Yeah, it was, things definitely slowed down, but it, I mean, I guess it was cool in the sense of like, the silver lining of it, I, if there is one, is that we had hella time to just stay in the studio. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause like, we all live together, all the people I work with anyway. Mm-hmm. So we were just like, all right, well, we can really, can't go anywhere. So the house and the studio it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we were already locked down anyway. So it gave us hella time to just make the best music I ever made. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's in terms of as a city for COVID, it was not it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Was it a little harder to draw inspiration for the music being that yeah, you're indoors you, all day? Yeah, because you just aren't living life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You just aren't like, I don't know. A lot of the music I feel like comes from conversations. Like I'll just be talking to the homie and they'll say something. I'm like, that's hard. Like that's a hook. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'll just constantly, I'm constantly like that. And then when I'm not talking to people, you know what I'm saying? Or you're not getting in crazy social settings. Yeah, like, you feel me? Yeah. And like a lot of people, but I guess it, a lot of people had never been like alone with themselves for a long yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? People haven't really just had to sit with their own thoughts. And like, I guess even I had, hadn't in the same way that I needed to. But so I guess that was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Just a lot of time to grow up and figure yourself out and think about shit. You know what I mean? And just like observe, you feel me? But yeah, yeah. I feel like it was such a, like a up and down thing. Like at first, like you said, it was like devastation because you're yeah. like, wait, is society gonna end? You literally, bro, I was literally like, <laughs> like oh, wait this, a minute. This is four or five years. So I was like, I was like spraying my whole crib down if oh, I did yeah. anything. Everybody I was, was on some super tweaker shit. But yeah, eventually as time went on, we learned it more about it. It started to get a little like, better. It's starting to get, but you know what I'm saying? It feels good. I'm like, life is busy again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. You're back outside now. Back outside. I'm just, yeah, it's a blessing that like work is back popping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean like, not that like my focus is like down bad or nothing, but like yeah. it was, it was just like when things aren't constantly moving, I hadn't lived like that since I like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. since I quit my job back in like 2017. Like I haven't, since 2017 we were just on the road or like working on hella shit, moving yeah. around. And then also it was like to a halt for the first time in a long time. Yeah. yeah. But it is what it is, man. And those days I felt like went a lot slower. Like, oh you know what God, I'm saying? It would be like, bro. damn. Barely Wednesday. I and then, know. Bro, then it's like, why like, am I even looking forward to Friday? We're not gonna do shit anyway. Bro, like, you're like, it's like, it's like new, and you're like, hey, should I just like hit this beer right here and hit the homies up to get on like Xbox? You feel me? Like, yeah. just trying to figure out what to do with myself. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So prior to COVID, were you planning on releasing a project? And yeah, was it a so, different project than you're putting out now? It wasn't. Yeah, it it was different in the sense that like it's a whole different like collection of songs but it's mm-hmm. the same it was the same idea really okay it was uh yeah like i think i, I released my last album in, sep- in september of 2019 mm-hmm. and then uh we were just working on another one and we were like pretty like getting close to finishing it right before uh i was supposed to go on tour right before everything got locked down and yeah we were in like a kind of like oh this is what it's gonna look like space and it's crazy mm-hmm. to look back on that now because like hell yeah we changed you know what i'm saying because like yeah. i didn't one i didn't want to release uh, an album that just like kind of fell by the wayside yeah. because the world is sh- shut down. Yeah. And it made me like have to sit back and be like, oh shit, like I see albums coming out and they're kind of falling by the wayside and I don't know what the world's gonna look like. So I have to go crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I have to like make songs that are really gonna like have legs and touch people and like that people are really gonna love. So like, yeah, I was just, yeah, locked ourselves in like every yeah. day, just like, making hella hella songs, you feel me? And are are you happy with the results of like- Yeah, I'm hella happy. I mean, yeah, it was definitely like a grind. It was definitely literal like, like blood, sweat, tears and shit. But it was, it was cool, man. Like, yeah, and a lot of stuff happened because of like the pandemic and just because of like life moving along. Like a lot of growing up had to happen like for Mm -hmm. all of the homies, you feel me? So it's like, I don't know. I feel like we all had like, a, like the last year and a half for everyone I work with is a lot of just like, oh fuck, this is life, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and and that's how everyone was feeling. That's why I kind of was like, oh shit, like 
I don't know. I can make something that like represents myself, but also kind of encapsulates like a, yeah. a feeling you might all be feeling it right now. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, does the album reflect that, like in the content and stuff? Like, do you have yeah. certain songs where you kind of are reflecting and are talking about like maturing? Yeah. It's yeah. It's all. It's it's really. It's because it's called Boulevard Boy, and mm -hmm. it's so it's really just like a way to like name the album after myself. Yeah. So it's really just like a collection of songs that are like. Yeah, every piece of my brain, you know what I'm saying? So there's definitely moments on the, the album where it's like a lot of reflection on just like growing up and then like facing yourself, you know what I'm saying? And just like being cool with who you are. But yeah. at the same time, it's not hella like dark or like sad yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. I mean, Crossfaded because, is not. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, because yeah. yeah, that's a fun and happy song. It can yeah. get, if you want to like look at it that way, it can mm -hmm. be a little like dark and sad. But like, so yeah, there, I feel like I've always done made like kind of like more reflection, mm -hmm. like a little, like sometimes sad music. So like with this one, I was like, Yo, life is super fucked up, but I want to make like happy music that my friends like play in the yeah. car and like at the function. You know what I'm saying? Like I just want to make music that makes people move. Yeah. So like, even though the world was fucked up and like I, everyone around us was hella sad, like I feel like I had never made more like fun, happy music just because I was like, even if I wasn't like in that mood, I was like, yeah. all right, to get myself out of this mood, we're gonna make like three songs that are just undeniably gonna make you feel good when you play them. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, I learned how to like make slaps and shit during the pandemic, yeah. I feel like. Cause everything before was just kind of like a reflection. Just like, yeah. I don't know, it felt like my own music shit. And now I'm just like, oh nah, I got slaps, bro. You gotta hear this, you, <laughs> you gotta hear this, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, it was cool. That's what's it was cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really enjoyed Crossfaded, like I mentioned earlier. Thank you, bro. Thank um, you. And then it's definitely a song that you can play, I, I feel like in any setting. Thank you, bro. That's you know, the idea. That's the idea. Maybe while you're getting crossfaded, maybe while you're on your way to get crossfaded. Exactly. Coming exactly. back, no, maybe you shouldn't drive well. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. But yeah, no, I wanted it to feel like the like it could be played anywhere. Like like the feeling of being crossfaded is all over the place in the sense of like it is it's a happy song, it's a sad song, it's like it's a turn up song, but it's also you can just play it late night when you drive in. You know what I'm saying? I wanted it to feel like all of that shit at once, and I feel like it did that too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's fire. Yeah. Um, so do we have any like dates or anything like shit? I mean, we got a couple more singles coming out okay. with uh, before our out like the album comes out this yeah. summer, and yeah, man, it's crazy. Like we've never had like a rollout like this. We never been because we were sitting down for a whole year. Yeah, I had so much time to like plan a crazy yeah. rollout and like things to keep shit moving. And I'm like. People have no idea, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. when you're when you're gone for a whole year, your DMs are just full of people being like, "What the fuck, man? Come mm -hmm. on, bro, come on!" But now it's like we're finally unveiling everything, and it's gonna be super tight, man. No, it's it's I like tight. the the shit you did where like you're in the deli and they wouldn't serve. Oh uh, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like little commercials like that. Yeah. Like, I love doing shit like that, and we have so much of that stuff planned. And it's hard to like listen to people be like, "Hey, yo, did go go to the studio, go work, go where?" I'm like, "Bro, mm -hmm. you have no clue. We got shit like the clip is ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, so." I'm excited, man. Like, the album's fire. We got some big features yeah. on. It's cool, man. I'm excited. Uh, I like. I feel like you're pretty natural in the acting world. Is is that something hey, man, you want to go you. into potentially? Or? I mean, yeah, I would like to. I definitely don't want to be like. Uh, yeah, definitely speaking crazy, but I would never want to be like a movie star. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I would like to like have like a. Like little scenes in movies and shit. Mm -hmm. Like if there's a random movie and they have to stop in a convenience store, I'm trying to work in the convenience store. <laughs> oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, like, a cameo. like little cameos, like kind of because Kid Cudi it was is acting for real now. But remember how he would just kind of pop up and shit randomly? Yeah, like like that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. That shit hard. Yo, but I'm, I'm an Easter egg and mad at the homies' movies. Like for real? I'm like in. I mean, I'm sorry, not movies. I, I, um, videos. Okay, babe, yeah, okay, yeah, babe. okay. Hell but yeah. Like, yeah, hella, hella videos. Like literally, like. Only if you pay attention, you'll see me for like in half a, a second. In a cut. And that's how I like it, because I'm just like, yo, I'm around, but I don't want to be like a part of the video like that. I get it. You know it. what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to be all up in the video. You know <laughs> yeah, no, like, I feel you. I feel you. But you know, you want to say that she was a part of it and like be there, you know? Exactly. If, no, you, look, just... if you look back, because I mean, honestly, it's like when we, it sounds kind of dark, but when we're gone, like all we have is shit to look back on. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Um, That's a fact. That's and you see like, like, you know, like ASAP Yams is like one of my big inspirations. So yeah. when you see the videos he made, like cameos with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you're like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. And it's concrete evidence that you are a part of like the culture of the shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I fuck with that. I already know. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah, that's fine. Yeah, most definitely. That's fine. But shit, I'm excited, bro. Um, what, what color? You, bro. What color do you want? What, what do you want? You want to be? I think. I think. Be? We, 
I think I, I want like a pastel, like a pastel orange or something. Pastel orange? Like a nice pastel orange. Okay. Or, or we can, you could, we could be like in a different setting too. We, we could be in a new city? Yeah, like wherever you want to okay, be. Okay, but like, I want to be. We could be inside a deli. No, no, no. We should go to like Pike Place Market in Seattle because you got to come kick it. Pike Place Market? Yeah, Pike Place Market. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we are. We're there now. We are. Yeah. Oh, man. What's nice? What? Oh, uh, oh, my God. I got it. Yeah, <laughs> no, for real. That's fine. <laughs> no, right, yeah. Hey, appreciate good looking, bro. You. I appreciate you yeah, having let, me. Let them know where they can find you and all that. Um, Travis Thompson everywhere, uh, but at Travis X Thompson, and you can find everything we do at BoulevardBoy.com. Rose Crane Vic, Travis Thompson, we out.